morning and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shack and welcome to the Monday Morning Minute. Today we're going to be putting 10 mini implants in for an upper fix on six restoration with a Xantex. Can you suction back up, please? Um, if you look at the x ray here, you'll see he has very low hanging sinuses in the posterior. So we only have room for 10 implants and we're going to stay anterior to the sinus area. We're going to put uh, two 511 millimeter implants. Um, this was a, a last minute case scheduled, so we're, we didn't have time to make a surgical guide, but I'm going to go ahead and mark the locations of where I'm going to place the 10 implants. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the location for the 10 mini implants. He's already been anesthetized. You can see he's had a lot of bone loss. He's got a narrow ridge, and he doesn't have any lip support because he lost those teeth. Uh, and it, you see his denture, I'll show you his denture in a minute. It's a very, very large flange. So we're gonna do the Xantex to give him that lip support that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and make our pilot holes. You let me know if anything hurts, okay, sir? A little bit of a angulation to the palate because you see that indentation buckle. I'm holding my finger here towards the buckle. Do you have a bunch of them? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can see he had quite a bit of, of a flange on his denture, so we don't need to give him that much, but we definitely need to give him some lip support. So that's the plan. We place five holes. We're gonna start with our most anterior. And we want to reach 30 newton centimeters of torque if at all possible. So hopefully we'll get some beeping. That's a good one. So we got some beeping at 30 newton centimeters. We bury that implant down all the way to the collar. Just a little more. We're going to go to 60 and bury it down a little more. Okay. You want the square and the ball to be above tissue. We're going to go to number two here at tooth number seven. I was in number three, so didn't beep. Let me put it to number two where we're at 30 newton centimeters of torque and you'll hear it beep. Okay, so you got 30 newton centimeters of torque on both of these. Now we'll do the third one at the number five, six position, I guess you'd call that. And that's beeping. Now we're gonna to go to 60 and we'll get it down the rest of the way. It's got very good bone. So that beeped at 30, but it's probably more like a 50 Newton centimeters of torque because we got way past 30. And now we're gonna to go to the next implant. Again, nice, very nice torque. We're totally torqued. <laughs> and we're gonna put the last implant in on this side. And we might consider putting one more, but let's just see if we can 
How are we doing with the pen? I think the pen will be plenty. And as you get more posterior, the bone does get softer. So we may or may not get a beep at this. Okay, good, we got a beep. That's good, okay. All right, so we got the first five implants in place. I'm gonna bury this front one just a tiny bit more. That's 60 Newton centimeters, okay, very good. All right, now we'll go ahead and make the other holes on the left side. Any pain at all? Mm -mm. Okay, all the left holes are made. All right, we're getting good torque here at the number nine tooth. And we're up to 60 Newton centimeters now. Now we'll do the next one. Again, we've got very good torque, and we're going to go to 60 now. Okay, again, very good torque. We're even at 60 Newton centimeters of torque on that one. <laughs> Okay, we got the torque right toward the end there, so that's good. And we'll do the last two. No, it looks good. It looks Open. Okay. And the last one. The bone's a little softer on this upper left side. But we're still getting decent torque. I can feel it in my hand piece. We're probably at about 25 to 30, so we should be fine. This one's got torque. That's good. Okay. So we've got 10 implants in place. That yeah, looks real good. Even though I torque them, I still like to hear the sound when I tap on them with that nice solid sound. This is the only one that didn't quite torque, but it's still in there nice and solid. We should be just fine with that. Now what we're gonna do is, we hollowed out his existing denture, so that it could go over the implants. And open for me. It's rubbing a little bit, so I'm gonna trough it out just a little bit more. All right, so we're just gonna trough this out a little bit more.
we don't need to take the pallet out because this is just temporary. We're actually going to take the final impression today to make the restoration. And what I'm going to do is take the impression right in this existing denture. And because I am, have my own lab here, Shack and First Lab, they'll pour this up while the patient waits. And that'll save me a couple of visits. And you could do this in your own office if you get the analog from us. You could pour it up yourself if you want with die stone and then mount it on the articulator or just send it to us to mount whatever you prefer. But it's convenient to take the impression right here and then we give the denture back to him. So I went to the lab and I troughed out this denture a little bit more so it would fit over the Oh, balls. Come on in, Lynn. All right, Dr. Shaft will be right in to the level, okay? Okay, there we go. Now it's all the way up. I can feel it because it's not rubbing on the, it's not rubbing on the implants anymore. I'm going to use the, uh, what's that called? Futar. The pink if you have it. So we're going to use a product from Kettenbach called Futar D. It's a fast setting pink material and it's very hard and it'll hold this denture in place nicely while it heals. So we're going to put that in there just like that. That's all we need to do. And then seat it right away because it sets up very quickly. Okay, bite together and just hold that for a couple minutes, okay? You can just wipe off any excess here. And keep biting. About a minute, okay? So, in about 15 minutes, we successfully placed 10 mini implants and relined his existing denture as a temporary. Now we're gonna take our impressions when we take this out uh, for his permanent teeth. And I'll show you how we do that and how we get a nice bite. All right, so this is set already. Okay, open. And I'm gonna take this out. It gets very hard and it's not always easy to get out, but this is nice and set. So that's his temporary, okay? Okay, so. This is my patented two cotton roll bite. It's really not patented, but it's, this is how I do it when I don't have a bite rim. I just take something like this, close together, open. No, 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 softly, softly. Hold it together, gently, open. Hold on. Let's see, Gent gently bite together. Open, hand, gently bite together. Gently, okay, hold it right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, don't move, hold his chin here. Gently, gently hold it. Hold it together. I'm using Regisil, but you can use whatever bite registration material you like. Just get the vertical pretty close. And we can always open the vertical a little bit if we need to with the lab. But let's just hold that right there. You just want to get an approximate bite. The lab will get a pretty good idea and they can, they, they will know approximately how much to set the pin at once they mount the case. Keep biting just like that, okay? Don't move. And when I get this one side, I'll take the cotton out and I'll do the other side. And I'm going to confirm this with a measurement so we'll then we'll figure out how much to open the vertical and I'll show you how to do that right now in just a second okay right. okay open all right, now we're gonna leave this in here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and add to the other side now. Okay, bite together again. Bite all the way. Perfect. Relax your lips. Keep biting. Okay. So there's the whole bite. We'll just hold that together for a minute. Okay? Let me have a ruler. Okay, perfect. You're so smart. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little mark here right underneath his nose. And one here right at the chin point. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to measure where we're at here. So we are at about 60 millimeters, okay, from just under his nose to the tip of his chin. Okay, and you can take any random point. It doesn't have to be right there, but the point is what we want to do is compare this measurement to what he has with his existing dentures. And if it's 65 with his existing dentures, we're going to tell the lab to open the vertical 5 millimeters. If it's 70, we're going to tell the lab to open a 10 millimeter. So we'll figure that out in just a second here. Okay, you can open now. All right, so here's our bite. Okay, and we got our posing really nice. So now we're gonna stick this denture back in and we'll see how close we are. Open, open. All right, we're gonna snap it in. If I can get it back in, we'll snap it in. Okay. Okay, bite together. Okay, good. Put your lips together. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, I'm gonna measure again. Guess what? Exactly 60 millimeters. So my two cotton roll bite was right on. We don't have to change anything. We're just gonna have the lab mount the case as is. We are gonna have them put some of this nice pink acrylic, not pink acrylic, but pink Xantex material up here above the teeth. So now we're in good shape. Um, why don't we do this? Why don't we take an impression open for me of his existing denture so the lab can get the teeth similar to that shape because they look nice in his mouth. It's hard to get out now. Hang on there, buddy. We'll get it. This material gets very hard. Okay, all right. So we'll take an impression tabletop of that and then we'll give him his denture and we'll have him back in two weeks. He'll leave the denture in the whole time. We successfully placed 10 mini implants on my patient to do an upper Xantex roundhouse. Here's the post-operative x-ray with the 10 implants in place. Looks really, really good. Everything looks great. This artifact you're seeing is the reline in the denture, nothing in the bone. Just the, uh, the you can see it here, just the reline material showing on the denture. But there we are with the 10 implants looking great. All those implants torqued at 30 to 60 Newton centimeters of torque. And I'm gonna show you the pre-op again so you can see it. There's a pre-op x-ray. <clears throat> you can see the low hanging sinuses. So we stayed anterior to those for the most part. And um, we're in good, good shape. Thank you for joining us on this Monday Morning Minute. Don't forget to join us here in Buffalo the end of March with Dr. Gordon Christensen and myself will be presenting advanced mini implant cases and lectures. So we'd love to see you here in Buffalo. Thanks for joining us.